Hey, Dave the Family Farmer here, and we're at uh, Wisconsin's largest butterfly house and maze. Uh, we do decided we're going to stop in here today to see how everything is going. And the young lady up there told us every day to hear some of the butterflies that they have. Right now they got uh, a lot of monarch butterflies, but they're going to be soon hatching these. We'll get into that a little later. But, uh, yeah, let's take a walk in here. Come on. This is what's known as a butterfly tree. On our butterfly tree. And uh, I actually learned something today. If you look, on the, on the back of their wings here, you'll see these little spots. See these little spots, these little dots there? There's little dots. That is a male, which is a scent, scent sack to attract females. I did not know that. I learned that today already. Yes, I did. I find that really interesting. Brings the, brings the girls by. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, they have oranges and sponges with nectar on. We're kind of here early in the season already because some of the flowers haven't bloomed yet. But then they're going to be starting. So, find that this very interesting. And we're going to stop back, back here again. Uh, we're going to go see uh, the eggs over here and the cocoons. transferring I cleaned it out really good and then what I did is I found some sticks so that they can come up to the top because they need to come to the top they will hang upside down form a J and then form their crystallists it only takes three minutes from the time they start if you go to the bathroom and come back it's going to be done you'll, is miss that it. Right? you'll miss it well look how so, you know I am never, they're very small you know I have never seen them that small yes you yes. know, I've always seen them when they were, you know. Right. That's why we use a paintbrush to do this because it's it's important that you don't, you know, contaminate them and you know give them a type of disease and right. like and you try to keep the, the that bigger one there. Now I probably will move over in here with the big ones I'm gonna put in there right now. Yeah. Judy, you want to take a close up of these things? Look how little they are. Can you can you get a real good look at them? Wow. If you want to watch me, I can show you how we transfer them. That is the really, uh, now that is really interesting. Last year we had, at, during one week, we had 90 chrysalis hanging from oh my these God. aquariums. And in one week, they all emerged. So it was really exciting to see oh, them I believe come out. that. It takes uh, 30 seconds for them to come out of their chrysalis. Wow. You can miss it very, very easily. They like to hide in the leaves, but especially when they start curling up. So that's why I try to put. You know, and I've never, and I never, you know, as many times as I've, as I've seen monarchs, I've never seen them that small. The uh, caterpillar. I've never seen them that small. Let me get this uh, thing over here, Judy. Oh, you, uh, you haven't yeah. seen the um, the caterpillars that small because they get even. No, small. I. Yeah, they get I, smaller. I, than oh them. yes. Uh, yeah, those are pretty I wanna, big. I want to show you something, and this will this will be a very impressive wanna, thing for you to see. 
if you look underneath here, look at all the eggs underneath the leaves. Under there, there, that's how small they are. When they turn, start turning black, they will merge as a lid so small that you think it's a uh, part of the leaf. That, that's what they are now. And then when they start getting the, a little black dot on them, they will emerge a little, little. I mean, that's enlarged a lot. Yeah, I can see that. Because Holy you can see some little ones here. Yeah. And I'll show you even me. I have to take a couple off of here. Which we'll see. There's one right there. There's a little caterpillar. Right. And there, then there's one right there. See him? He's so small. Oh, you know, he did something. Yes. It's almost like... You know, after you get a certain no, age, you no. need a magnifying glass. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be uh, looking. I've never, uh, I've always seen them like this, right here. Right, right. You know, and then uh, through this whole process, I've never seen it from this process. Right. You know. Well, it's very interesting. That's why in captivity like this, out in the wild, it, it'd be very difficult to, you know, to see them. Well, I'd be. Uh, because there's not as many. Right, people would be, what, what's he doing yep. out there? <laughs> I really think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> but, uh, people, we are going to come back here again and again. And we're going to do the butterfly walk here one of these days. Right uh, now, I'm going to try to get these guys out of here. And, uh, this is, uh, Oh. oh, those are some bigger ones. Then. Yeah, these I keep. I keep the little, the bigger ones in a bigger container. Oh yeah, there's a the real you know, big. Yeah, this one right. here, in fact, is a bigger one than this. When they quit eating, you know they're ready to go to the top of their jig. That's not going to hurt them to drop because they have like a webbing. They make just like a spider when they. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They like to hide in the leaves, so you got to check really close, especially for the little ones. Well, I believe that. It's very difficult to find them all. I went through that that about three, four times. All well, they, those leaves, I still found two after four or five times. Well, they sure, uh, they sure eat that up, don't they? Oh, yes. Well, the thing of it is, is you know, you got to keep them. you got to wash your hands, make sure you don't... And I bet you you could still find another one in there. So what you do is you take take those and put them out where some milkweed is, just in case you missed one. At least they they're by a food source. This is their food source after they become great caterpillars. Well, I'll be darned. Isn't that isn't that interesting? Well, folks, hey. I think Jack took some of the bigger ones with him because we're, we're going to come back here in uh, in another few weeks because this is just the starting of everything all the butterflies and we're gonna see a lot of neat stuff hey come visit okay Wisconsin all right let me get my sign out here again butterfly gardens of Wisconsin butterfly gardens of Wisconsin it's right off of highway 47 Richmond Street just outside of Appleton great place to visit hey you all take care bye bye then